Welcome back. I'm so excited for this. If you know Yuma Art, then you know Leah Littlewood. Her name is synonymous with creative expression, playing an instrumental role in shaping our local art scene. Here's my exclusive story on how she's changing the desert southwest, one brushstroke at a time. We come from a long line of artists in our family. My great-grandfather, John Magnus Johnson, was a sculptor. Leah Littlewood has made her mark on Yuma and its rich local art scene, whether it be on canvas, a sculpture, or a captivating mural. So when I was going to college, um, everyone tells me, you know, you have to make money and all that stuff, so you're not going to make it as an artist. And I always kind of felt like, I guess. And so, like, fine, I'll, I'll try to be a nurse. So I tried to be a nurse. <laughs> And uh, I just kept reverting back to art. And um, what I'm thankful for the nursing part was that I was able to learn every muscle of the body. So it made it easier to sculpt and paint. During that time in college, I like decided, okay, I'm gonna try, try this drawing class because I wasn't a really good drawer. And Blomquest was like, you know, you kind of have a more of a painterly like hand. Why don't you try painting? And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Turns out I love it. <laughs> I've been doing that for 12 years, yeah, I'm just absolutely engulfed in the art. I love it. Littlewood tells me she first started her career at the Yuma Art Center in downtown, but her passion quickly grew outside the walls of the venue. It's a passion she cultivated, creating her own co-op with the hopes of expanding Yuma's local art scene for all to enjoy. But like countless other things over this past year, that too became a casualty of the COVID-19 pandemic. We opened Littlewood Fine Art and Community Co-op in uh, April of 2017. And it was in a cool old warehouse that we transformed into an awesome art studio. And um, that was running for a few years, but it was a uh, membership base. It was great, and then we had the opportunity to move down to Main Street. So then we moved down to Main Street, and it was a wonderful year. And then COVID happened. And so uh, memberships dropped completely. And it, it makes sense because of the fact that we are a gallery and an event center. We can't really have art shows and you can't really have music shows during a pandemic. And so we had to make the final call to close it down. Now Littlewood and her husband Isaac are working to launch a new venue from the comfort of their own home. But in that brought light to Isaac and I finding ourselves again because we were working 16 hours a day for free, uh, you know, five days a week. And uh, we just didn't have time for ourselves and we also didn't have time for our jungle. And so we decided, let's close it down, start working on our family. Like we love people, that's why we want to make this place better. We do shows, art shows, music shows, stuff like that. And we're, we're building a stage and we're just, we're excited to open back up. Littlewood's artwork reaches far and wide from the Yuma International Airport to street art and even the walls of Arizona Western College. With such an impressive range of projects and art styles, it's little wonder why she's become so well known, both at home and around the country. She definitely is a pillar in the art community. You know, she's been doing it forever. She knows resources, she has people, she knows the help, she, and she wants to help, you know? That's the, that's the beautiful part of having someone like her in Yuma. It's amazing. Perhaps the most impressive feat Littlewood has under her belt, she's completed nearly 200 murals in her lifetime, but she's not stopping there. I have a lifetime goal of a thousand um, and it seems to be going faster. Like before it would take me months to do a mural and now it takes a couple hours. Littlewood is in large part responsible for Yuma's booming local art scene, something she has an endless appreciation and excitement for. Meeting these people and being around and, and just fully engulfing yourself in your town. Like I want Yuma to succeed and it's growing up so much and I really enjoy you know, how, how much has changed in 10 years. Change that Littlewood has helped bring to our little corner of the desert southwest. Good work, Adonis. Thank so you. So thankful for what she's done for our community. It's honestly amazing. Absolutely. So shout out to Leah if you're yeah. watching right now. <laughs> awesome stuff.